Hello everybody! In today's tutorial, you will receive a step-by-step -step guided instruction on how to create a simple and basic Gantt chart in Microsoft Excel. Our sample project is Kitchen Renovation. Now, before I show you the method to create Gantt chart in Excel, let me briefly tell you about the Gantt chart. Gantt chart is named after its inventor, Henry Gantt, from the 20th century. Since then, it has become an innovation of worldwide importance for planning projects of all sizes. Gantt chart visualizes the workflow from start to finish dates and tracks the progress of the project. It's represented using a bar chart that illustrates the project schedule, relationship between activities, and any task dependencies. Gantt chart shows the tasks to be performed on the vertical axis and time frame or intervals on the horizontal axis. There are a number of tools available online that you can use to create a Gantt chart, such as Google Sheets, Team Gantt, Mind Tool, Microsoft Project, and Microsoft Excel. The current tutorial explains how to generate a simple Gantt chart using Excel. In the upcoming slides, you will see the step-by-step -step video instruction to draw Gantt chart in Excel. Let's get started. The first step is to outline the tasks involved in the project. For my sample project, I have divided the tasks into three phases. Next to each task, I have estimated the duration in the bracket. The estimated duration is the time needed to complete the tasks. In my project, there is no overlapping schedule. That means I have to complete phase one within four weeks before moving on to phase two and then complete it within eight weeks before moving on to phase three. Phase three has 12 sub phases and each of these phases must be completed before moving on to the subsequent phase. I will now switch over to Excel and show you how to create the Gantt chart for this project. Okay, I've created three columns. The first column contains information about the tasks. The second column contains information about the start date for each task. And finally, the third column contain information about the estimated duration in number of days. Let me now work on the start date. So the first start date is selected as 1st October. And to generate the second start date, I'm going to create a simple formula. Equal sign click on the first start date and add it to the duration of the first start date plus this cell here and press enter and there you have it you have generated the second start date now drag the corner of this cell to the end and release it and now you have the dates from start to end. The next step is to create the Gantt chart. For this, click on insert from the ribbon panel here and then expand the insert column or bar chart. We will select either the 2D bar or the 3D bar. The 2D and the 3D stacked bar have the closest format of a Gantt chart. I will go ahead with the 3D stacked bar because I want to give uh, more visual data to my Gantt chart. Okay, once you have selected the chart type, 
you will see a blank canvas appears in front of you. Now you need to enter details from this table here into the chart area. For this, right click on the chart area and click on select data. You will see a select data source window pops up in front of you. Under legend entries, click on add. I want to now add information about the start date. Let me drag this box closer to the data. Under series name, click on the start date header. That's going to be the title of the series. Under series values, remove the default value and enter this range from 1st October till 19th of April. And look at the picture in the background. You can already see some changes happening there. Click on OK. Next up, I'm going to add the duration. For this, click on Add. And again, repeat the process from the previous segment. Under Series Name, click on Duration Header. And from Series Values, remove the default value and highlight this column like so and click on OK. You can see the changes in the background. OK, finally, I want to now change the labeling of this vertical axis. Remember, in a Gantt chart, the vertical axis represents the tasks. So instead of having this numerical figures that really don't reflect any meaning, I would want to rename the rename the axis with the title of this tasks. For this, click on edit under horizontal axis labels. And then under axis label range, highlight from task one all the way to the last task and click on OK. Click on OK again. There you have it. Now you can see that we're almost um, getting the format of a Gantt chart. Now here are a few problems and we will have to fix these problems to make sure that we have the complete outlook of a Gantt chart. The first problem is with the task. The task seems to have been reversed. So as you can see here, project handover should be the last task and planning the kitchen remodel should be the first task. The second problem is with the bars over here. There is no meaning of this blue bar. We are only concerned with the green, sorry, with the orange bars here that indicates the tasks. And the final problem is with the dates. There seems to be an odd interval with the dates. My start date should be 1st October for the project, but here it shows 18th of June. So we need to fix these three big problems. To solve the first problem, that is the title of the tasks, I need to cl right click on the tasks and click on Format Access. Once you do that, the Format Access dialog box appears in front of you and under Access Position over here, check the box that reads Categories in Reverse Order. And immediately you can see there is a change in the ordering of the tasks. Next, let's fix the blue bars. Right click on the blue bars and Format Data Series and then select the fill and line option, the bucket symbol. And right now the color chosen is blue. We will go to no fill, check this box, and you see that the, the blue bars have disappeared. Let's solve the third problem. Click on the date and then right click, and then you will see 
a format access option. Format access and then this window here pops up. Now, under the access options, check the bounds. The minimum value is 44,000 and the maximum value is 44,350. Now, how the number system works on Excel is they convert any dates into a general number. So let's consider the first start date, 1st October. Let me copy this into this cell here. And then under custom, I'm going to choose the number format. So the number format is 44,105. I will use this number to edit the date and then right click format access under minimum values, change it to 44105. 44105 indicates 1st of October. And then click enter and now we have completed our Gantt chart. We have rectified the problems and generated the Gantt chart for the sample project kitchen renovation. You can play around with the settings, change the color and also add title or data labels as you like. I hope that you found the tutorial useful. If you have any questions, please comment in the chat section below. Thank you for watching.